always love finding a town with a unusual name and Tarzan is certainly an unusual name. Uh, originally, the people that moved here in the 1920s wanted to name the town South Plains and there was already a South Plains, Texas. And the wife, there was a couple and the wife, uh, she really enjoyed Tarzan books. And so that's where they ended up, uh, that's how they landed on the name Tarzan. And we are definitely out here in the middle of kind of big oil country in Texas, in West Texas. And so um, I don't know how big the community ever got, but um, it did have a post office. It still does have a post office. And uh, they have a, a couple businesses here, they have a gas station. Um, I got me a Tarzan t-shirt. And um, other than that, you can see just a lot of kind of, uh, you know, big, uh, conglomerated businesses working out here in these fields and um, but it's very beautiful it's very wide open out here in West Texas and certainly whenever you see a, a dot on the map with a name like Tarzan you got to go check it out We're out here a little bit west of Odessa, Texas, and this is what's considered the Permian Basin, and um, obviously huge oil uh, area, and that's what Penwell was. It, this There's a railroad right here, and it was actually laid down in the 1880s, and um, but there's no town here yet, and then they put a road an east-west road through Texas that went along that railroad in the early 1900s and still there was uh, no town. Uh, oil had not been discovered here yet and a, a, a guy with the last name of Penn, P-E-N-N, -N, uh, got some people to come out here and explore and they found oil and it became a huge boom town literally overnight in the late 1920s. Something around 3,000 people picked up and moved here immediately and so it became a, a big town, but it only lasted for about three years. And then it kind of died down to about 100 people for the rest of the 1930s. And then another kind of uh, oil boom happened in the 1940s. The population went up to about 1,000. After that was over, it went back down. And now what's left is fairly remarkable. There, there's a couple things. There's a, there's a post office. There's, uh, I think, a couple of businesses here but it's an incredible uh, amount of I don't know the best way I could say it is like an oil graveyard of all kinds of things driving through you can see a bunch of old buildings but also just all kinds of different things that obviously had to do with oil drilling and and uh, working in that field so it's it's pretty wild I'll try to give you a drone shot to give you a feel for the vast uh, area that they have all the stuff that's here to, to kind of see it it could be probably put together in a pretty informative uh, history of oil
We are now down all the way on the southern border of uh, Texas and right behind me across the way is Mexico. Uh, Langtree was originally called Eagle's Nest and it was a railroad stop on the Southern Pacific Railroad and it was because right behind me on that cliff back there there would be eagles that would roost over there and so it became known as Eagle's Nest. Langtree was uh, probably most well known for Judge Roy Bean who moved here not long after the railroad uh, was gone and became the Justice of the Peace and named himself the Law West of the Pecos. And this is kind of where the Pecos River and the Rio Grande, uh, where they meet up. And so he was the West of the River, I guess is what he considered he was the Law of. And he's been portrayed by, um, you know, in, in a lot of movies and TV shows. He was even portrayed by Paul Newman in a, in a Western years ago. So the town of Langtree was, you know, a, a nice town and it had a lot of things going for it. And then they built a highway a little bit north of here that bypassed uh, this area. And that's when the population dwindled. And it, there is a museum, there's a Roy Bean Museum. Unfortunately, it's closed. It's almost uh, sunset here, so I'm here a little bit late today. They have a, a few people, it looks like, living here, but a lot of abandoned houses. And, um, you know, definitely when you think of the, the Old West, there's a lot of uh, remnants of what it was like here in, you know, the late 1800s, early 1900s. So we'll go up to town and check it out. So I had to leave the car back up the hill, hike down. So this is where the Pecos and the Rio Grande, uh, you know, converge. Absolutely beautiful. Don't come down here if you're a little bit afraid of heights. Langtree was uh, probably most well known for, what was his name? Okay. Uh, had to get back up. I don't wanna go to the left.
Now, for my vehicle. <laughs> On the map, it looked like a pretty good road. <laughs> yeah, you're inviting a flat tire when you decide to drive over that. So we got to get back that way. That's why you get a car with four-wheel drive at the rental place. <laughs>